Welcome folks to another episode of Deeski Grills. Today, we are cooking up four beautiful prime briskets on the Workhorse Pits 1975. Let's go. Alright, so you saw that intro, and another thing I hope you see is just how clear the smoke is coming out of the stack, okay? Now I've been working on getting this fire built for the last 35, maybe 40 minutes. This is a mixture of pecan and oak wood, alright? So we had that baby stacked up somewhat like a crisscross type pattern, so two logs here, two logs here, just like that. We built it up four layers high. I used charcoal in the middle to get the fire started, okay? So we're ready to go. We're set up for success right now. On the dial, I have 250 degrees on this side of the pit and around 225 on this side, okay? So we're cooking on the bottom rack only today. I'm gonna get this opened up real quick. Ten to twelve hours at least. Okay, what I have is four briskets that are all around thirteen to fifteen pounds. Okay, so I would say it's going to be at least a ten-hour cook. But let's get these babies at it real quick. Did a really good job of trimming these babies last night. You can see how pretty they are. Okay, my own patented brisket rub that I love to use, and we're going to get these babies in place. Now the 1975 will definitely comfortably hold four briskets on one rack. I think I saw a video in a past where a guy did around six briskets on this thing. Uh, he used the top rack as well. So we're going bottom rack only today. These are some beauties, folks. Just beauties. There we go. Okay, so our four briskets are on, as you can see. We'll get back together in a couple of hours. We're working now 100% to just get the fire settled in, build that bark. So we got about three to four hours. All we're gonna do is let this smoke roll, okay? I appreciate you for hanging in there with me for this cook. This is gonna be absolutely amazing. I'll see you guys in a few hours. All right, folks, we are back three hours later. We are having an awesome start to this cook, okay? So three and a half hours later, I have not opened up the pit except to add my tallow uh, so it can start smoking and breaking down, okay? Now, here's the thing, y'all. The 1975 is such an efficient, awesome pit that once you learn that baby, you get your split size down, which really agrees with this pit. Once you learn the location of your fire relative to the large firebox, you can maintain temperatures of 225 all day long, okay? It's just a matter of feeding splits to it. As it starts dropping in temperature, just feed another split, let that baby catch on, and just go for another 30, 40 minutes, okay? Now, I've been using these size splits here, so I would say around two and a half here by maybe seven inches, eight inches here. Um, really nice size splits. I keep them on the firebox so they get hot and they ignite right away when they get added to the fire, okay? So we got that going. What I'm excited about is opening this up for the first time and doing the spritz, okay? So let's see how these beautiful briskets are coming along. I want you to see beauty. Look at this, folks. Now, is that beautiful or what? All right, so you can see the beautiful smoke rolling. We're gonna go ahead and start our first spritz just to keep that tenderness rolling, okay? We got these things cut really nice. I did an awesome curve all the way around on my flat on each one of these to make sure we have that aerodynamic type uh, flow going right through the brisket and out the stack. Now we'll shut it down again for a few more hours, but you can tell that the bark is starting to form. We're starting to get breakdown of these fats and that's what you want, okay? So that's starting to get really, really soft and squishy, but we have a lot more time to go. So I think the next time we'll look at this will probably be another three hours. Then we'll see if it's time to start wrapping, okay? But we got a ways to go. But I just had to show you just how beautiful the 1975s does briskets when you control temperatures the right way. So I'll see you all in another few hours as our bark continues to get more defined and we can check in and see how these babies are looking. All right, folks, we are back. We are six and a half hours into this cook. Let me show you something really quick. This beautiful pit is holding at 255 degrees on the left side 
and 255 on the right side, okay? I'm telling you, the Workhorse Pits is an awesome pit. Once you learn how to get that baby set up right, you're just adding splits, and all you're doing is just low, slow maintaining this, okay? But let me show you the beautiful bark we've achieved. We've already sprayed multiple times uh, to make sure these briskets stay moist, but I just wanna show you just how awesome these things are coming along. Check it out, folks. Isn't that amazing? Now my plan is to give it at least one more hour, then we'll go ahead and start checking internal temps. Being six hours in, we may be at the point now uh, to wrap, but to me it's all about visuals, right? So I wanna make sure I have the bark the way I want it before I wrap it in butcher paper. Now we have a station set up outside, it's a beautiful day, and that's where we're gonna do all the wrapping, and I'll show you that in a bit. But let's spray these babies down real quick. Our tallow is looking amazing also. And you know that's a part of our wrapping process. Okay, so all kinds of excited about this cook. We'll get together in about an hour, and at that time, it'll be time to wrap. See you guys in a second. All right, so our briskets are about to come out, and we're going to get them wrapped in butcher paper. What I'm doing first is I'm moistening the paper so it's pliable, and we're able to uh, fold these briskets up really nice, okay? Now the workhorse pits doesn't come with the table, so I'm gonna have to just go grab the brisket, bring it over, and we'll start the wrapping process. Look at this beautiful bark, folks. This brisket is amazing, okay? So we'll just put it right here at the edge. Okay, so we have it in place. Now we're gonna come with our tallow. I'm telling you, this is that secret, okay? You get this tallow going, adds that flavor. All right, and then we'll go ahead and do that first fold. Now we wanna do a, a turn on one side here, kinda crease it, do the same thing here. Crease it, I'm gonna bring it back this way some folks so I can just show you everything here. And we're just gonna keep folding to get two nice creases here. Right there. And on our other side. Okay, so we have everything set up now, and we're just going to start folding. All right, I'm gonna pull it back to make sure that it's tight. We will keep on going. All right, and then on the last one right here, I always bend my paper, square it off, and do one more flip. Okay, so this is brisket number one. We're gonna do the exact same thing to the other three briskets and get back with you guys later. Uh, once this brisket reaches maybe around 200 degrees or when it gets really tender, uh, we're gonna put it in a cooler for around three or four hours. Then we'll come back and let you guys check out the final product when we cut into one of these beautiful prime briskets. Okay, folks, we're back at the world famous cutting board, right? So we cooked four prime briskets on the Workhorse Pit 1975. And what we did, if you remember, around six and a half hours in, we had achieved the bark that we wanted and we went ahead and wrapped them in butcher paper. That was the end of what I showed you for the day because such a long resting period and it was about to get dark, okay? So what I did is I put these four beautiful briskets in a cooler. I let them just kind of redistribute the juices back into the meat. Now we're at day two where I get a chance to cut into one of these and the other three I'm gonna freeze right away for an upcoming wedding, okay? So let me show you up close just how beautiful these briskets came out. Meet me at the cutting board. All right, so here's one of four of these beautiful briskets. We're gonna get this one opened up, let you check it out. You're talking briskets, it's a labor of love, right? Because it does take a long time. But when you do it right, there's nothing in the world like it. Briskets are definitely, definitely the king of barbecue. Now I want you to see this beautiful bark. I want you to see exactly what we're talking about here. Look at this, folks. Look at this beautiful, beautiful brisket. Absolutely amazing, right? All right, let me get this out the way. We're gonna cut some slices. And I may even show you how to properly cut a brisket for those who may not know, okay? 
Okay, so for those who don't know, a brisket has two parts. You have a flat and you have a point, okay? So what you want to do when you're cutting the flat, the flat has to be cut in vertical uh, slices, okay? You want to cut them around quarter inch thick. That's as thick as you want to go. It is a leaner meat, all right? So we're going to go ahead and start some slices. First off, this thing is like butter, all right? So I'm already excited knowing that this is going to be absolutely phenomenal. And then I want you to see the smoke ring because we did take our time to make sure we did this right. So you can see right now that it is slicing like butter and we're just doing beautiful vertical slices, letting it line up really, really nice and pretty. And we'll continue down the brisket just like this until we get to the point portion of the brisket. Okay. All right. So I'll pull one out just to let you see exactly what we're talking about. Look how beautiful this is. Look at our awesome defined smoke ring. So we put some work into this, right? All right. Here's when you know it's right. See the pull apartness, right? You know it's tender. Okay, we'll do some more slices. And what I really want to show you is going to be this point. Let me turn this this way too. I want you all to kind of enjoy all these juices that I'm seeing as I'm cutting this. Look at these juices coming out this beautiful brisket. Look at that. That's what it's all about. This is brisket done right. Okay. Don't let nobody tell you nothing different. Deesky Grills knows how to do a brisket. There we go. Okay, so we'll just call this our flat right here. We'll leave that to the side. Okay, so when you're cutting the point, you want to turn the brisket 90 degrees. Now you can do thicker slices. So, and then you can get some beautiful, awesome point meat cut up right here. Look at this, folks. Through and through, okay? Through and through. Just absolutely amazing. We're going to go ahead and do some of the pieces that folks really like too, and that's gonna be the burn in, so we'll do those as well. Wonderful tender brisket. And then we just cut beautiful slices here for our burn in, so check this out. Here, here, all right? And if you want presentation, you can just kinda of set them around here and make people just drool, all right? Look at these beautiful nuggets. That's what they are, right? And if you like what we're doing, please subscribe to my channel. Let everybody know what Deesky Grills is up to. And as always, at Deesky Grills, grilling is not a pastime. It's a passion. Appreciate you guys, as always, for joining me for this cook. Uh, again, three of these briskets are for a wedding. One of them is for us at home. You guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you learned the love and the time it takes to make an awesome brisket. And as always, I'll catch you on the next one.